Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today I want to talk about the top prepper skills that we all should be working on. In addition to making sure we have all the things that we need, we should also be working on skills. Skills are going to be way more valuable in the long run than anything else that we can do. And there are just, there are so many skills that we can learn, but I've put together just a small list of what I think are the top prepper skills that I think everybody should be working on. These should be skills that we know how to do, and, you know, that they're easy to do. We can learn them. They're all things that back in the 1800s, everybody knew how to do these things. And I think we should all know how to do them. Currently, we live in a society where we don't need most of these skills, but I think we should know them because if something happens, especially something huge, then we'll be ready and we can take care of the situation because the more prepared we are, the easier it's going to be for each one of us. So this list is in no particular order. I think each one of these items are just as important as the other and we should have all of these skills and be working on these skills so we're good at them. And we, you know, we don't have to be professionals at them, but good enough that we're comfortable with it and we can do all of these skills. Many people don't have any of these skills and they really should have these skills. They're just really basic survival skills. So the first skill is basic cooking. You'd be surprised how many people can't boil water. They just can't do it. And I am not ever going to tell you that I'm a perfect cook or anything like that. When I first started off and lived on my own, I destroyed a whole lot of pans. Um, <laughs> we all have, we all start somewhere. We all have to learn somehow. And I learned from experience. That's my best way. So I have destroyed a lot of pans over the years and I am definitely a little higher up on the skill set than I used to be. <laughs> so we, the, that's something that a lot of people need to know though, how to cook basic items. It doesn't have to be fancy chef style cooking or anything like that. Just basic cooking. What kind of herbs go good together so you can flavor dishes and things like that is a great thing. So just basic cooking is so important. The next skill that I think is super important is fire making. We need to know how to start a fire. Um, we need to know how to cook over a fire and get that fire going so it really works well for us. We want to make sure that we can cook on the fire, uh, get heat from the fire, anything that we need to do. We can make our own charcoal so when we need to filter things or charcoal is good for all kinds of stuff. But that fire making skill is really, really important and it can be extremely difficult to get going if you don't know what you're doing. The next skill is foraging. I think foraging is so, so important. We cannot grow everything. And back in the day, back in the war time and before that, they didn't grow everything they ate. They foraged for a lot of their food. So foraging really is super important. I grow a lot of herbs and things that I use, a lot of vegetables. Uh, we raise chickens, but I can't grow everything that we use and we do forage and it's important to learn what is around you because the stuff that's around me may not be around you because we all live in different kinds of climates in different areas so different plants are going to be available to us figuring out which plants are edible and medicinal can greatly help you the next skill that I think is important is fishing and hunting. I think those are so important. Um, if you go drop a hook in a mud puddle, you're not going to catch a fish. Some people think you can just throw it in the water and a fish is going to bite it. That's not really how it is. You need to know what to look for. Um, getting experience going fishing is really important. And hunting. Hunting can be tricky as well. 
I know people that hunt every day on the weekend all through hunting season and still don't get anything. So getting those skills down to learn tracking, stuff like that, how to find the animals, where they're most likely going to be, things like that, what time of day they're on the move, um, that can be extremely helpful as well. The next skill, I think everybody needs this skill, and it is first aid. Knowing first aid skills is really important. Anybody can slap a Band-Aid on something, but if you have to wrap something or, you know, clean it, anything like that, you want to make sure that you know what you're doing uh, so you don't hurt them at all when you're doing it, or yourself, definitely. First aid skills are super important. The next skill that I think is super important is lock picking. And I'm not talking or trying to encourage anybody <laughs> to break into places to get whatever you want. But I have lost keys before. Being able to get into something that you have is can be really important. It can be life-saving. You may have stuff locked up somewhere. You could lose a key, anything like that. Being able to get in there could save your life. Also, if you had to bug out, which I don't think is the first option, it should be your last option, but if you had to bug out and you came across let's say an empty cabin and it was all locked up, but you know that you're not gonna be able to survive through the night because it's freezing and snowing. Breaking in to have a warm place to sleep just might be the only option you have. It might be your only chance. So if you can pick that lock and get in there without damaging their property, that would be wonderful. Leave it as you find it. The next skill that is super important, and I think it is really easy to learn with just a little bit of practice, and that is sewing. We need to be able to repair things. We are seeing, all of us are seeing, it is not as easy to run out and buy something new as it used to be. Things are getting so expensive. The more things we can repair, we can use that money towards things that are more important. And, you know, building up food storage, uh, getting a new pair of shoes that we can't repair, something like that. Being able to repair what we can is going to be extremely helpful for us. The next skill that I think everybody should have is self-defense. We need to know how to protect ourselves. It is so important. With as crazy as the world is, self-defense is really important so we can take care of ourselves. And along with self-defense, we all really need to be working on situational awareness. That is something that everybody should be doing. We need to make sure we know exactly what's going on around us. If someone is behind us, if someone's coming at us quickly, anything like that. What's that guy doing over there? We need to be aware of that stuff so we can keep ourselves safe. It's part of the self-defense and I think it is so, so important. Another skill that can be extremely useful is knot tying. It seems like something very basic, but it can be tricky to get knots to stay. Some ropes are more slippery than others, and making sure that we can tie knots to keep things together is a great skill to have. The next skill that is, I think is another pretty basic skill, and I don't even know if they teach this in school anymore, and it's navigation. We should be able to read a map and figure out how to get somewhere. Um, there are, having paper maps is really important. If the grid goes down, we don't have access to any kind of GPS or cell phones, anything like that. Having those paper maps and knowing how to read them can help us out of lots of sticky situations and get us where we need to be. The next skill is gardening. I think gardening is so important. Even if you've only got a couple of herbs growing on the windowsill in your home, once you get that technique down, it, you can figure out what's wrong, change things up, and you can grow all kinds of foods. There are lots of things that you can grow, even in pots on the patio, um, uh, if you have a little bit of a yard, you can plant stuff in the ground. If you don't, just containers everywhere. Containers are really easy to grow in and most foods will grow in a container. 
And the last scale on my list is a really big one. I think it is really important, especially where doctors are hard to get to. Big Pharma puts God knows what in the medicine. Um, learning herbal remedies. Little things can really be lifesavers. There are all kinds of foods that you can use to create different kinds of things that you need. You know, if you are trying to lower your blood pressure or make your own cough drops or anything like that, there's so much you can do. Wellness teas, all sorts of stuff, clearing your lungs. There are herbal remedies for just about every ailment. Most medicines originated from herbs. So there are all sorts of skills out there that we can learn. I think these are really important and probably the top skills for preppers to learn. That way we can completely take care of ourselves and we don't have to rely on anybody else because when, there will come a time that there's not going to be anyone there for us. But we're going to have to do it on our own. And I think these things can definitely save all of us. And some of these skills you can learn for absolutely free. Some may cost a little bit of money, but even the ones that cost, it's definitely worth the investment. You are worth it. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.